Hello. Today, our goal is to talk about multiplying rational numbers. Multiplying rational numbers is way easier than adding or subtracting. What's nice about multiplying and dividing rational numbers is you do not need to worry about a common denominator. Here we have 2 thirds times 3 fourths. Watch this. To multiply rational numbers, you might remember from previous years, all you need to do is multiply the numerators. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. And you end up with 6 twelfths. Your last step, of course, is going to be to simplify. I can divide both 6 and 12 by 6. So that's going to leave me with 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6 is 2 with 1 half. On your notes page, please write down simplify before multiplying, and then put this example down. So, in this example, we have 4 sevenths times 1 sixth. And in our first example, we multiplied and simplified in our answer. When you multiply fractions, you can simplify in the problem. We start by looking at the cross products here. So we have 4 and 6. Well, both 4 and 6 are even, so I can divide those by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now, when I multiply the numerators and the denominators, 2 times 1 is 2, 7 times 3 is 21, I was able to simplify first, and this ends up in simplest form. Always double check though to make sure that you can't simplify your product any further. In this case, we can't. The next example I want you to write down is when we multiply with negative fractions. So please, on your notes page, write down multiply negative fractions, and then copy this problem down. Negative 5 twelfths times 3 eighths. In this problem, we can start by looking at our cross products to see if I can simplify. Well, I start with 5 and 8, and I cannot simplify that, but 3 and 12 can both be divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now, I multiply across. 5 times 1 is 5. 4 times 8 is 32. I'm going to double check that I cannot simplify any further, and I cannot. And then I need to remember my rules with positive and negative numbers. When I multiply and divide, same signs are positive, different signs are negative. Here I have a negative and positive, so I have different signs, so my product is going to be negative. The next example that I would like you to write down is multiplying mixed numbers. Now there's a key here. When we multiply rational numbers, you have to have only fractions to start. So whenever you have mixed numbers, rewrite as improper fractions first. So here we have 1 and 2 fifths times 2 and 1 half. Remember we talked about MAC, starting at the bottom, multiplying, add, and copy. So to rewrite 1 and 2 fifths, I would have 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7, over 5. Times, if I multiply, add, and copy, I'm going to get 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, over 2. So maybe on your notes page, it helps you to write down that little abbreviation of math. Now, I have 7 fifths times 5 seconds, so 5 over 2. If I look diagonally, 7 and 2 cannot be simplified, but 5 and 5 can both be divided by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1, 1 here and then I can multiply cross, multiply cross. 7 times 1 is 7, 1 times 2 is 2. My last step is to make sure that this is in simplest form, including if I have an improper fraction. If I have an improper fraction, I want to rewrite that. Remember how to do that would be 7 divided by 2, 7 divided by 2, 
and I can get three twos out of seven, three times two is six, and I'm left with one. So my whole number is three, my numerator is one, and again, my denominator stays the same, three and one half. I want to double check, both of these are positive, so my product will be positive, and my answer is three and one half. The last example I want to show you looks at multiplication in a little bit of a different way. Let's say I'm asking you to find one third of a number. Let's say we have 237 seventh graders in our school, and one third of them gets picked up by their parents at the end of the day. So we want to know how many students are getting picked up by their parents. Well, in math, of means to multiply. So make sure that you copy this down, and of needs to multiply. So I'm finding one-third times 237. Remember, when we're multiplying or dividing rational numbers, everything needs to be in fraction form. I have a fraction here, but I have a whole number here. We've talked about how to turn a whole number into a fraction. We simply put it over 1, because this equals the same thing. 237 divided by 1 is 237. But now I have this in fraction form. So you could check to cross-simplify, or you could multiply across. 1 times 237 is 237. 3 times 1 is 3. Definitely an improper fraction. So I'm going to take 237 divided by 3. And let's see, I can get 7 3s out of 23. And I'm left with a 2, bring down my 7, oh, and I can get 9, 3 is out of 27. So that tells me, I have no remainder, that 1 third of 237 would be 79 students. Make sure you have all of your examples written down on your loose leaf notes page, and we're going to practice some more in groups and in class.